In this way, the next clock pulse will make Q0 to become high again. So now both Q0 and Q1 are high. This results in making the fourth bit output as 1100. Now if we apply the fourth clock pulse, it will make the Q0 and Q1 to low state and toggles the FF2. So the output will become 0010. As this circuit is 4 bit up counter, the output is sequence of binary values from 0, 1, 2, 3 up to 15. So that is from 4 zeros to all 1s. Let us look at the advantages of this. Asynchronous counters can be easily designed by T flip flop or D flip flop. These are also called as ripple counters and are used in low speed circuits. They are used as divide by n counters which divide the input by n where n is an integer. Synchronous counters are also used as truncated counters. These can be used to design any mod number counters that is even mod example like mod 4 or odd mod for an example mod 3. Let us look into synchronous counters. The counters which use clock signal to change their transition are called as synchronous counters. This means the synchronous counters depend on their clock input to change the state values. All flip flops in the synchronous counters are triggered by the same clock signal. Their construction is very simple in design. All the flip flops are interconnected and will be driven by the same clock signal. The state output of the previous flip flop determines the state change of the present flip flop. As all the flip flops will work synchronously, the synchronous counters do not require any settings. We require the number of logic gates to implement the synchronous counters. Their operation is fast too. Two bit synchronous up counter. The JA and the KA inputs of FFA are tied to logic 1. So FFA will work as a toggle flip flop. The JB and the KB inputs are connected to QA. Initially, both the flip flops will be in the reset state. That is, QB into QA is equal to 0 initially. After the first negative clock edge, that is, as soon as the first negative clock edge is applied, flip flop A will toggle and QA will change from 0 to 1. But at the instant of application of a negative clock edge, QA, JB, and KB will be equal to 0. Hence, the flip flop B will not change its state, so QB will remain 0. So, hence, QB and QA will be equal to 0, 1 after the first clock pulse. Let us look at the second negative clock edge, that is after the second negative clock edge. On the arrival of the second negative clock edge, flip flop A toggles again and QA changes from 1 to 0. But at this instant, QA was 1. So JB will be equal to KB which is equal to 1 and flip flop B will toggle. Hence QB changes from 0 to 1. QB QA is equal to 1 0 that is after the second clock pulse. After third negative clock edge that is on the application of the third falling clock edge flip flop A will toggle from 0 to 1 but there is no change of state for flip flop B. Hence QB and QA is equal to 1 1 after the third clock pulse. After the fourth negative clock edge that is on the application of the next clock pulse, QA will change from 1 to 0 as QB will also change from 1 to 0. QB and QA is equal to 0 after the fourth clock pulse. The advantages of the synchronous counter is as follows. It is easier to design than the asynchronous counter. It acts simultaneously. No propagation delay which is associated with it. Count sequence is controlled using logic gates. Error chances are lower, faster operation than the asynchronous counters. Let us look into the applications of the synchronous counters. As the name suggests, synchronous counters perform counting such as time and electronic pulses. They are widely used in lots of other designs as well such as the processors, calculators, real time clock, etc. Some common uses and applications of synchronous counters are as follows. The up down counter can be used as a self reversing counter. It is also used as a clock divider circuit. It is mostly used in digital clocks and multiplexing circuits. They are used to generate sawtooth waveforms. 
It is also used in digital to analog converters. Commonly used in home appliances like washing machine, microwave oven, time schedule, LED indicators, keyboard controllers, etc. Alarm clock, set AC timers, set timer in a camera to take the picture, flashing light indicator in automobiles, car parking controls, counting the time allocated for special process or event by the scheduler. The parallel load feature can be used to present the counter for some initial count. They are also used in machine moving control.